Well, boys, good morning, and welcome back to another video today. So, if this is maybe your first time clicking on one of my videos, my name is Justin. I do all sorts of stuff inshore fishing. Today, we're going to try something a bit different. I have never fished with live pinfish before, and that is the goal. I'm going to go to the tackle shop right now, well, the bait shop, and uh, hopefully they have some pinfish. I'm going to grab them. Uh, I know most places in Florida, you can catch them very easily. I don't have the knowledge to catch them where I live, and I just genuinely do not think that they are around right now. I have caught them at certain times of the year, but uh, I, I haven't seen them. I, I just don't think they're around right now. So we're gonna go ahead and buy them. They're, I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're maybe a dollar a piece, so we'll probably get like 10 or something and just go fishing and fish for some monster snook. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's head to the taco shop, let's go. just grabbed some bait from the tackle shop and uh, now we just got to transport them safely to the spot. I always hate transporting bait in my car because I'm afraid the water is going to spill but we got to get them to the water somehow. All right, boys, well, while I'm idling here, I wanted to give you guys a tip real quick about Ginus. Um, so if you, I don't, I don't know how, how easy it is to tell, but these waves right now are about one foot chop. Maybe not right here exactly, but for the most part, some of these are about one footers. All that stuff right there, that's about one foot. So the way you wanna try to combat that when you uh, need to go somewhere, you need to go with the wind, you need to go more in diagonals. You don't wanna go directly with the wind uh, when you're on a Ginu like mine. I'm in a Ginu 15.4 high sider, um, but you don't wanna do this, for example. So if you notice we're going with the wind here, see how the waves, I can't see the waves because we're going with them. I can't see the depth of them. So when I go like this, I can easily stuff the nose into one of these waves. This isn't really a good example here, but I can easily stuff the nose into one of these waves when I'm going with it. So what I do to try to combat that is I'll usually idle or go like maybe like half, half speed in zigzags like this. This is how I kind of carve through these waves in a little boat, just like this. Sit here and just carve it up. And then ultimately when you see a gap where you see maybe 100 feet where it's flat, gun it and shoot straight through it until you start to get into some bigger waves and then start to slow down, start cutting through that and uh, just be careful when you're out here. I don't have a bilge pump so I do have to be very careful um, not to stuff the nose too, too, too bad because uh, you'll take on a lot of water like that. But we are almost at the spot here and we're gonna hop out and start snook fishing. How windy it is, there should be a lot of snook tucked up in this mangrove right here. I just need to find the right cast in there, keep the drag tight, pull them out. Um, what is that? I'm getting thrown around, I can't even see what the fish is. Oh, I see what it is. That was sick. 
Man, it is windy, boy. We just can't get a break from this wind. Not too bad. First fish of the day is probably, uh, I don't know, 18 inch trout or so. Not too bad. I'll take it. I was expecting a snook there out from under those trees, but this will work. Whew. Jesus, bro. He was ready to go. All right, let me see if I can't get something bigger. That was like one of the first fish I've ever caught on a pinfish is a trout. I'll take it. All right, since I want to fish the windy side of this mangrove right here in front of me, I'm going to get out and wade to it since it's so shallow. Pop out of the boat, stake it out just like that. I'm gonna sneak around to the windy side here, see if there isn't any big snook sitting under there. Let's find out. Big snook right in front of me. I think he saw me. He went after it the first time I threw on him and then he took off. I think there's a couple big fish in front of me here. Find out here if they eat. Something's trying to eat him. Oh, nice trout, nice trout. Oh, he just slurped him. Got him. <laughs> 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 Dang, bro. That's a nice trout. Sl oh. Slurp that. I knew I could see some fish right there sitting right on the front side in this wind. God, that was sick. That was sick. I was like, something's on the pinfish. He's freaking out, swimming in circles. He comes out of the surface, boom, slurps him. I'm going to walk this guy back over towards the boat. There's our second fish of the day right there. Nice trout, a little bit bigger than the first one. This one's probably closer to 20 inches, but probably 19. See ya, bud. That was cool, they're chewing the pins. Chewing them. I saw a nice snook that would've wanted that pinfish too. I think I spooked him though. I'm talking about that's a giant right there. He ate that the second he hit the water. I felt that thump. <laughs> Pinfish chew. We just need one more fish for the slam. Got him. Freaking giant. No, I'm just kidding. That's like a 16 incher. I'll take it though. At least catching something. Found a little pocket out of the wind. Toss that pinfish under the mangrove there. <sighs> the guy thumped it immediately. I just need to find a redfish now. How about that? Or a bigger snook. I'll take a bigger snook for sure. Ready, buddy? I'm give him one big push here. All right, see you, bud. All right, let me go get a new pinfish here. I think you gotta actually retie. This is 40 pound mono, and even that tiny snook frayed that. You guys can see that right there, frayed for sure. Gotta just cut right above it and retie. All right, I'm climbing back in the boat here because the wind has laid down a little bit. And I also saw an otter, and I don't want to leave my boat unattended because they will break into the boat or climb into the boat and steal my pinfish for sure. So I'm gonna hop back in here and uh, yeah, there's that otter right there. 
He's right here. Let me see if he pops up. He's swimming under the trees now. They're sneaky. They will climb into the boat and try to grab the pinfish out of here. Where is he? He's under the trees now. Yeah. Being real sneaky, buddy. All right. We'll sit on the trolling motor, see if we can't get a big fish. Snook here. Oh, stud sheep's head too. Let me go for the snook. Oh, he's looking right at it. Looking right at it. I think he ate it. Oh, you got it that time. Got him. <laughs> God, that was so awesome. <laughs> Gotta love sight fishing snook. <sighs> Sitting right up there, right next to that log, trying to blend in. He's probably waiting for something to come swimming by, and my pinfish happened to come swimming by. Not a bad fish. <clears throat> come on in here, bud. Alright boys, third fish of the day, a little tiny snook, probably 22 inches or so. Uh, I think I'm going to get into some bigger ones here in a second. I've only got like three pinfish left, so I'm going to try to save them for some bigger fish. But, third fish of the day, we're finding some fish at least um, in this really windy weather we're having today. I kind of just am tucked out of the wind right here, but for the most part, wind is ripping today. Back in the water for this guy. Alright, well, my last pinfish just died right there on the hook so what i'm gonna do is just pick up the cast net here and grab a couple mullets see if i can't get one more big fish to end the day on a live mullet i gotta get some live mullet though first Just got my chance at a nice fish who came up and blew it up at the boat. And I didn't get another chance at him because the mullet swam back to the boat, so Snook saw the boat. Which happens a lot, which is the most annoying thing about mullet. They almost always swim, to, swim back to the boat, and then uh, the fish that's chasing the mullet sees you. Oh, missed a nice one there for sure. Heck was that? What kind of fish is this? jacks out on the flats i'll take it this is going to be the final fish of the day a little bit of a slow day i would say Man, they're still blasting that mullet all righty boys well that's going to be it for today that was a it wasn't too bad of a day got two nice snook and two nice trout and uh i missed that the the one that i needed to catch was that like 30 32 inch snook that blasted the mullet right before i uh well actually it wasn't that long ago but basically right before i called the day um that was the fish i really needed to seal the deal and i missed it so that's just how it goes at least we got to use some pinfish today i've never really used pinfish learned a thing or two about them and uh yeah if you guys are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in that next video. 